Afghan nationals were brought to South Korea as special contributors some three weeks ago. They held their very first interview with the Korean media and talked about life in a new country. The Afghans expressed their gratitude for the Korean government and people, hoping that they could settle in South Korea to raise their children in a safe environment. Afghan children are playing soccer in the yard of their temporary residence, a state-run facility in Jincheon, Chungcheongbuk-do province. Wearing big smiles, kids are having fun riding on a toy car. <laughs> After completing the two-week mandatory quarantine process, the Afghan nationals are now gradually resuming their daily lives. They again thank the Korean government and its people. While hoping to settle down in South Korea, the Afghan evacuees also express concerns about their future and uncertainties regarding jobs and housing as well as education for their children. Bachelor and master degree, and they are studying PhD. Following the Chisak holiday, the Justice Ministry will run a five month aid program to support the 390 Afghans to stably settle in Korea as quickly as possible. It plans to actively help them learn basic Korean social rules like garbage recycling. The ultimate goal is to assist the Afghan evacuees to adjust to life in Korea easily and stand on their own two feet eventually. The country's justice ministry will also issue foreign registration cards and visas that will allow them to stay in Korea for five years and get jobs to stay long term.